aspiration of this project is to help people wherever they live and whatever their situation is in the world. This sort of technology will allow us to use a vertical interface to grow effectively market garden type crops in our cities, on our roofs, around those in peri-urban zones, but do it very efficiently in terms of water, in terms of energy, in terms of carbon dioxide. The Verticrop allows me to really get to the crux of why we have threatened plants and animals around the world, which is too many people, too small a planet, and the unfettered use of natural resources to feed our consumption, mainly through agriculture. Behind me is the Verticrop producing fresh salad crops for use in the zoo, which is computer controlled by a building management system that controls the ambient temperatures, the uh, humidity, also include, includes the ventilation for the space here. Underfloor we've got heating, which is computer controlled, and, uh, and in addition we've got irrigation, which will provide fresh water, nutrients, and in, crucial for the root zone oxygen. And all of this represents what we call controlled environmental agriculture. The prototype installed here at the zoo is a proof of concept. So we had the idea of the vertical crop production system known as Verticrop. The Verticrop consists of stacked trays suspended on a conveyor, eight high, which maximises the use of available space, so not just on a horizontal layer but also the vertical layer. It could be above ground, below ground or both. I mean effectively it's, it's increasing the land mass by 20 to 40 times depending on the crop that you're growing. Um, agriculture uses around 70% of the world's fresh water, which is increasingly in short supply. Hydroponics uses 10% of the water compared to uh, conventional agriculture. We can also recapture and recoup the nutrients and then use them again. We haven't used herbicides and pesticides within this space. The vertical hydroponic technology, we call it high density vertical growing using the most advanced um, hydroponic technologies, has has benefits that it can be used anywhere. In Vancouver, on the top of the rooftops, they're developing an externalised version of this, which is the next iteration. Up at the other end of the zoo, we're also developing another iteration of that, which is a warehouse-based system, where the walls are fully insulated, 100 mil thick. This is about the nitty-gritty of how do we do it. And it's probably going to be underneath buildings or more likely in warehouses. I don't see a different way of doing things. You know, at the end of the day, this is it. This generation will make or break what comes after us.